All right, well, we learned a lot there. Um, ask Estevez about the clicker. We can do that. Uh, this is the kind of case my ex hated. The ones that might kill me. That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. <laughs> you really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... And then, uh... Then Logan... Oh, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, or whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. I love that she comes to that conclusion and isn't going to deal with it anymore. <laughs> it's like, it's just, she just understands she has to cut her losses. Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. And it definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. All right. Case board time. The FPC identified the clicker as a paranatural item. They believe it has power. The clicker can fix this, but I can't use it without Wake. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. Okay. That makes sense. Aceboard time. The clicker can be used by anyone so long as the holder believes in the power of the art's message. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. All right. I've got it now. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything for good. What's this? I already read this. Yeah, I did. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there is no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? All right, this is the beginning of the end game. To travel to Cauldron Lake, you need to save your game first. Exploring and traveling to other areas will be limited if you choose to continue. Not just yet. Give me a moment. Okay, Anderson. You let me know when you're ready. All right. 
damn, because I really need, uh, <laughs> I really need to check out the lighthouse, and I also have to, um, I also have to get the last clues about, like, the diner, not the diner, the, uh, lunch boxes and stuff, I think, because we're missing some clues. I'm just curious where those clues might even be. So let's head to the diner to read the, the letter again, because that might be the final clue for Rose. Um, and then we'll head to the lighthouse just to open everything up in there. I really don't know what we're missing for the radio station. I have no clue. Or another radio station, the nursery rhymes. I really have no idea. Um, so I'm a little bit irritated about that, but... We have this. This, like, should be a clue, <laughs> I think. Because this tells us exactly... Exactly who did this. And it didn't say anything. The, the heart L, heart N at the bottom is actually her just saying Alan. It won't open. Damn it. Okay. Well, I do want to go to the watery lighthouse. So let's at least do that. And then we can initiate the end game, I guess, and just close it all up. Um, as much as I'm sad, <laughs> as much as I'm sad that I don't have all the clues to, to case close everything, it just seems like that might be a bug. What is this? Do a manuscript page. After getting his hands on the FBC files, Ilmo Koskala knew what he was up against. He masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake, and a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskalas sabotaged the FPC's monitoring station and rigged it to alert them when something was brewing at the lake. One time months later, when the alarm rang, they drove to the lake again, ready for a fight. But this time, they didn't find any monsters. Something else washed ashore. The light switch. They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the stolen files. From that point on, whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed mm -hmm. the switch into the hole, and flicked it. There we go. Now we know why they had the clicker. That's really fascinating. It's empty. There's no one there. Just darkness. Huh. It's empty. All right. Time to head to the lighthouse. All right, here we are. Lighthouse time. Are there any cool files over here to look at that might tell me things? Because I'm a little bit bothered by the fact that we haven't been able to close this mystery out. <laughs> no, it's a bummer. All right, let's just enter the lighthouse. Got the key for it now, so. Shotgun shells. What's this? Ooh, manuscript pages. Ooh, is that an? That's an inventory. Oh, that's exciting. This has Mirrors. got to be an Ilmo idea. Oh, he was gonna use the lighthouse. Shadow monster, light ray, three thousand generators, mirrors. 
this was the the <laughs> the thing I thought was gonna be like an Ilmo mech. <laughs> That's really funny. One thing at a time, I suppose. They're too old to fight monsters. The torchbearers are done. We need something new. Ilmo took a long drag from the joint and handed it to his brother. They've been drinking and smoking all night. <laughs> They're stoned. That thing from the lake was not a man, and the government's trying to hide it. Ilmo gestured at the files they had stolen from the research station. A strange seal with an upside down pyramid. The Federal Bureau of Control. We need to keep the feds away. Deal with this our way. We need an army of our own. Yako smiled. He loved to watch his brother come up with his ideas. Ilmo's gaze swam. It was seeing double. The pyramid on the folder was a spruce tree. A tree, he thought. A fucking tree. It was a sign. He's we'll seeing make it. the woods scary again. So fucking scary, no one will set foot in them at night. That's how we'll keep people safe. We'll be a legend. We are the cult of the tree, and we watch in the night. We're gonna need scary masks. Energized, Yako chugged a bottle of Ama beer in one go. All right. He saw the tree. He actually saw the, the shape of the oldest house. So that's interesting. Ilmo Koskala jolted awake from a nightmare. He was drenched in sweat. In the dream, he'd been covered in blood, gleefully murdering people, his friends. When his twin brother had tried to talk sense into him, he had murdered Yako as well. Ilmo slammed his fist into his temple so hard it hurt. The dream made him feel sick. The dark force of the lake was growing stronger. It was trying to make Ilmo and Yako something they were not. Trying to turn them into Ilmari and Yakopi Huatari from the early days of Watery. But they were the Koskala brothers. Their mother had not raised them to become murderers. They had backbone. They had honor. They had finished Zisu. Something bad was coming. The hidden device they had hooked to the FBC station had been intercepting alarms like crazy the past few days. Ilmo would make sure his cult was ready for war. Out in the night, the story seeking to give birth to an overlap in watery drifted on, looking for another pair of men more prone to corruption. Interesting. So yeah, they actually were pretty straight in terms of character. Good for them. Sorry, Yako. Oh, that covers the mystery of the lighthouse, I guess. That's really our only, our only outstanding thing, other than the nursery rhyme clues that we just somehow missed, even though we understand <laughs> exactly what was going on there. So, I think we'll just head back and initiate the end game. Oh God, wolves! <laughs> that startled me. They don't know I'm here. God, how are you not dead yet? There we go. Alright, well, the wolves are dealt with. Uh, I guess now we'll just head on back? I think that makes sense. Ready to go? Yep, I guess we are. Oh, it's gonna say it's gonna let us save anyway. Interesting. I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? 
I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch will try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. <laughs> Estevez, is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson. What's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. All right. I guess it's time to perform the ritual at Cauldron Lake. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. <laughs> it's not really hearable. It's coming, huh? Of course. I need a song about Alan Wake, about bringing him out of the dark place. <laughs> I hope they've still got it. So Saga's becoming a writer. That's kind of cool. She's making her art. All right. Guess it's Cauldron Lake time. Pick up, pick up. David, please pick up. David. David. It's me. Where have you... Stop. For once, you need to listen. You left me. You took my daughter away from me. Then you let her... She's dead because of you. And I don't ever want to hear your voice again. Stop calling me. David! Jesus Christ. It's getting worse. It's spreading. I'm running out of time. Gotta make it work, Saga. Alright, well, we gotta get to the lake shore. This should be easy. I guess now that we're here, maybe we can we can stop by Witchfinder Station to try and uh <laughs> try and see if I can uh get whatever the uh Ooh, there's a clue thing there. Maybe I should go look at that. Uh <laughs> get whatever clues I might be missing, but let's check out that investigation point while we're here. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, let's check up by the cabins real quick. I just want to see what the investigation point is. Cause I don't, I don't think it, I can. Um, I don't think I can interact with Ati's puddle or anything right now. I think the investigation point is just the map that's right here. Let's check. That is what it looks like. Oh, but there is the weird... Actually, this might be it. This might be the clue that I need. Uh, okay. That actually tells us something. I forgot there was a nursery rhyme here. There is... Yep. 
Element stalking monster, watchful bird. Stakes can't be too bright, uh, too high for both risk management and fruitful outcomes. Make sure the rhyming is looser this time. Need to test approach. Okay, I didn't realize that was there. All right. Oh, this is here. Okay. All right. Damn. So I did initiate the end game when I probably could have found the last of the things. Let's see. Is there, I wish there was a way I could look at what else was available. Interesting. Okay, well, that's a bummer, but it's not too big of a deal. Oh, oh, I can look here. Yeah, okay, so there's stuff here okay and then there's one in the ranger cabin that is where there was a nursery rhyme so this is where i probably would have gotten everything those last two investigations <clears throat> interesting very interesting is there anything i can do with this no. Aha! With the power of video editing, we have gone back to collect different clues. Haunting laughter echoed up from the well. That will be for a case that we've already solved. We're going to go back here as well and investigate the back office. I believe, where is it? Right over here. And I should be able to get whatever clues are in here that I forgot to grab before because I'm a big old dummy. Yep, they were right here, look at this. Mark the map like you asked, all the stashes by our last count, locked, loaded, and ready to go. Are you kidding me? The stashes were marked on these maps the whole time and I just missed them because I'm dumb? Oh no. Ritual for the Taken. Surround the target, subdue them, use hammer or other blunt object, restrain them, carve out their heart, recite the words, put the clicker into their chest, flick the switch two times to make sure it works, remember floodlights on tripods, we need to see what we're doing, always work in pairs. Read. To whoever has been sabotaging Lake House equipment, stop it. If you're looking for ways to help the cult, this is not it. Unless bringing the feds down on us is what you consider helpful, in which case you can fuck right off. Stay away from the FBC, and if you see them poking around again, report it to the Grand Master. Everyone, please read. I'm not trying to play the blame game, but we cannot let random tourists walk right into one of our rituals. We were stopped before we got to use the clicker. Hell, the lights weren't even set up yet. It's unacceptable. So let's look at the learnings. We need to be faster with our setups. We need to be 100% positive someone is on lookout duty. Communication, communication, communication. Slip-ups like this are why we have FBI agents snooping around, which is not great. I'm only being harsh about this because I know we can do better. That light switch you found washed up at the lake is not junk. It's fucking important. Trust me on this. From now on, whenever we catch a target, we're going to cut out its heart, stick this thing inside, and flick it. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it'll be like a ritual. This is going to work. All right. Uh, nice. So, let's quick save. Uh, from here, we just need to go to the ranger station. So here we are at the ranger station, picking up the note I forgot to collect. Experiment PFNR 23 Codename Beauty and the Beast. Creating the perfect environment for each test case has become a crux of my study. However, I am certain that setting the stage in a sufficiently convincing manner will make the fiction come into existence. I am now going to use propping in the way a set designer of a feature film would making the cabin seem like the actual house of the characters depicted in the rhyme with small personal touches and realistic items in addition to few key items, such as drawings, dolls, and personal letters used so far. The early results have been promising but incomplete. I will continue with the propping in a controlled manner until it reaches a functional state. It is crucial to gain traction with this. The dimensional opening I'm attempting to manifest in this very location will be a groundbreaking achievement worthy of my genius. So, there we go. So 
So we're back in the nursing home, and I can't seem to pick up anything here. And I think it's just because we ca we closed the case. So this this little letter here would have been a clue, I think. And then this right here, which we read, I believe we read whatever was on this table before, would have been a clue as well. I just didn't collect it. So unfortunately, even though it's on the map, I can't pick it up, which is a bummer. Uh, it would be nice if they let me do that, but they don't. But it doesn't matter because we already closed this case. So I guess we'll just head back to Cauldron Lake. All right, so let's start putting these clues together. A note about the style and content of the rhymes. Field notes about the environment for nursery rhymes. Case closed. The FBC did it. Man in lab coat messes around and finds out. Called <laughs> <Hold> it. <laughs> That's a good payoff for that. All right, and we found a bunch of other clues while we were running around uh, like like dummies. So here we go. There we go. This has already been case closed, so we're not too worried about it. Fact versus fiction now. These are for later. Cult of the tree. No detailing steps of the cult ritual. Uh, oop. Got that piece. Ritual being interrupted. This is why, uh, why Nightingale became a monster. Uh, cultists note admonishing members about sabotaging FBC equipment. Think. Uh, where does this go? Not fanatics, no signs of indoctrination, messy group of enthusiastic sociopaths. Whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. And there we go. So there is another piece of evidence there that I'm sure we'll find. Act versus fiction, again for later. The story, all for later. So there we go. We have, we have all the things. Eastmeal says, and like that, Toaster's completionist brain has stopped itching. Uh, it is a bummer to me that we can't pick up uh, the Rose uh, thing because I would have liked to read that like note, but at the same time, uh, I'm feeling pretty happy that I at least got the cases closed, so I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that. <clears throat> Let's hop on down. And now I think we just have to go down to the beach, right? And that's what we do. So let's go do that. That must be Torn Odin. Maybe I should check in. <laughs> Kiddo! We're almost at the gig! And Odin's run over four minions of darkness! <laughs> the boss is our hammer! Oh. <laughs> I need you to meet me at the shore. Is the song ready? Almost. Odin's got a killer chorus. Oh, tree, tree. What tree? There's no tree in the song. Who the fuck put the tree in the middle of the road? I'm not on a road. Drive carefully, Grandpa. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Very rock and roll way to drive. <laughs> I love Tor and Odin. They're so great. <laughs> Beastmill says they can whip a song, whip up a song real quick. I feel like this song has been percolating in their minds for for a very long time. Okay. <laughs> Just parts of the oh my god, they crash through the phone booth <laughs> They're just running amok. Oh boy It's cool to see how it, it kind of changes the environment It is railroading us a little bit, but
<laughs> the infected are trying to throw throw stuff at them. me come on I'm, I'm way too good and so we'll have to go up here the lights in the containment cell are good to go Anderson great the Torin Ode in there yet <laughs> the two golden oldies oh they're here and they bought moonshine <laughs> I love them already <laughs> they're a lot you wanted to know what art we would use well that's them I'll be there soon. All right. He smells says, I love this ragtag group uh, that's assembling to defeat Cthulhu. I agree. These characters are great. I'm a big fan. I honestly think that's kind of the, the strongest part of all of this is that even with like even the the lore and stuff is all really cool and it's like it's awesome. I love controls writing and all that, but like One, two. Characters in this setting are so cool. Equip these, heal up a little bit. Oh, this must be how we get the last song, too. Says, still don't like those version of the Taken. I think they're cool as hell. I'm getting no bounce out here. Hey. I threw them out. Times are not rock and roll. Yeah, they are. If you know how to use them. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. Let's down for you if you're running low. I'll use the lights to hit the Taken when they come. Light them up for you. Okay. Is, we were in a hurry. The power supply is spotty. Your partner here will try to keep it running. I, I'm not a damn mechanic. I wish your tech guy was here, Kieran. They spelled Kieran different than they normally do. Little typos like that hopefully will get fixed sometime soon. Okay, so they're going to do... We're gonna have a wave fight. This is exactly a reprise of the old Gods of Asgard moment in Alan Wake 1. Grandpa, you signal me when the song is done, and I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it! Let's go. Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. experience a soul sing, mind fry, act of black magic and sorcery! This song goes out to our favorite tortured writer. Let these sweet tunes guide you out of the darkness. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, you're making me look bad in front of Saga, bro. <laughs> 
Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh no, I got killed. I was trying to heal. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a, a tough fight, I think. We can do it. Oh, this is a fun set piece. It's cool to feel empowered in this game. All right, that is on a quick slot. Okay. And now I know that they come from over here. I can attack them pretty much right away. That's fucking awesome. I want a t-shirt. Show's drawing a crowd. Take an incoming, Anderson. Where are you? Oh, I just hit him with a headshot right there. Doing okay. Where are the enemies? Here they are. Got that one done.
fuck. I have them in the light. Oh, it's one of the big ones. Alright. Got him down. Open the box. Grab some stuff. Where are they? Here they are. guys because they're really dangerous first and then I can focus on the others. I'm using the wrong shotgun. It's fine. No, bad, 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 bad. Anderson, they're trying to stop the song. Quickly, quick slot that onto that shotgun slot. He was there, but he's not. What now. happened? Why didn't it work? I did everything right. Art to bring him back. Clicker to make it real. So where the fuck is he? All right, we're being pushed back to return or initiation. I mean. I guess we can finally play as Alan again after getting knocked out. Uh, when we last played as him, we got pushed back to Saga, so I guess we finally got access. <laughs>